What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is James Jackson of James Jackson Productions here with another Machine Masters tutorial. What I'm going to show you how to do today is how to use Propeller Head's Reason as a sound module in Machine. So basically, you'll be able to access all of your sounds from Reason, everything that's in your Kong, um, your Thor, your Maelstrom, your Combinator. You'll be able to access all of those patches in Machine using virtual MIDI ports. So to get started, the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go online and you're going to have to download a free MIDI port. You can use any MIDI, uh, a free virtual MIDI port. Uh, basically what this does is it, could, it creates like a MIDI freeway per se uh, between programs so you can use multiple programs together. Um, the one I'm using is Loop B, Loop B1 by Nerds.de. It is free. It is for Mac and PC. So what you got to do is you got to go and download that. And here's where you download it right here. And once you got it downloaded, you're going to have to restart your computer, which I've already done, obviously. And then to start using it, uh, we're going to show you how to set it up real quick. So uh, what you're going to do is open up machine. And as you can see, I've already got a session already open. Um, but what you need to do is go into machine, go into file, uh, go to audio and MIDI settings. Come over here to MIDI, and you want to set your MIDI output. And then you're going to see all of your devices, and then you'll see Loop B mi internal MIDI. You want to turn the output of that on, and then click OK. Now, what you've basically done is you've created a MIDI freeway on your computer uh, for a machine to send MIDI out to. Now, what you need to do is open up Reason, which I've got open right over here. You're going to go into your Preferences menu. Come on, there it is. Uh, first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go under uh, Keyboards and Control Surfaces and make sure that your MIDI controller is not selected. And if it's not selected, you're good to go. Then you're going to come under to Advanced, and you're going to have Bus A right here. And this is where you select... Uh, where Reason is going to get its external sequencing from. So you've got all these different MIDI ports. Uh, what you're going to select is Loop B internal MIDI, which is this right here. So that's basically the input. And you hit X and close it out, and you're all set to go. Now, uh, the first thing you're going to do in Reason is you're going to create a mixer track because uh, you're going to need to control the volume of your sound somehow. And in Reason, no other way to do that than creating a mixer. So create a mixer right away, and then you can create your uh, your tracks or your um, your instruments. So you can see I've got a subtractor here. Uh, I've also got a a brass or a combinator, and I've got three combinators here. So bam, three combinators, and I've got a subtractor. So and I, you see I've got them all, you know, routed to the mixer. Now what you want to do is up here at the hardware interface on Reason. You want to click on this in the upper right-hand corner where it says Advanced MIDI. And then you're going to get all 16 of your MIDI channels to pop up. So I'm not using MIDI channel 1, but you see I've got MIDI channel 2, 3, 4, and 5 all in use. And as you can see, um, they're all uh, named what I named all of my, patch, all of my uh, instruments. So Baseline, which is this one right here, my Subtractor, Brass, uh, which is Combinator, Big Brass, another Combinator, and then a Combinator that I haven't named yet. So what you want to do is make sure you've got Bus A selected, and then make sure it's set up to Loop B Internal MIDI, and then you start bussing your channel, uh, bussing your, um, bussing your instruments. So see, you click on the down on the arrow. See, I've got the bass line. Click on the next one. I've got the brass. And then sometimes, like with combinators, you're going to have where you can uh, pick everything that's associated with the combinator. But if you just click in, it takes everything, sends it right to it. So now you've got all of your channels routed in Reason to go through the MIDI. Now what you want to do over in Machine is you're going to create MIDI channels, MIDI out channels. So you see I've got one, two, three, four, just like I've got one, two, three three, 
four instruments in Reason. So what I'm going to do with create this MIDI out channel. So on the hardware, you just do shift and then you have shift and then browse. Then you go down to MIDI out. Um, if you're not using the hardware and you want to do it with the uh, with the mouse, you go on to tab one and you just click MIDI out. And so right here on settings and then you got the channel, you got to choose which channel you want it to go out. So right here on channel two or on on number two, I'm choosing MIDI channel two. And so what I've got hooked up on MIDI channel two over here is the bass line. So when I hit this pad, it's going to trigger the bass line. So same thing over here. Now you come over to pad th number three, MIDI out three. I'm using channel three. And on channel three, I've got brass selected. So when I hit pad three on the brass or pad three on the on the machine, you should hear the brass from Reason. Now, keep in mind, if you're using a, a MIDI controller, you can play your keys and play chords like I'm doing so. So, basically, you're writing MIDI data into machine like I've done here. I've written all of this MIDI data into machine and it's going to trigger all of the sounds in reason and the sounds in reason are going to play what I've written. So I'm going to mute out my other groups and I'm just going to solo, I'm going to solo channel three, which is uh, the brass. So now you're going to hear what I played and you see it's going to follow along with my, uh, with my program. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'll solo out channel four. Oops. And that's the big brass. And now you can see over in Reason, you got the meter right here. So you got, you can see exactly how loud your instrument is. And then if you look up here in your advanced MIDI, you can see all of the sounds are being triggered. So when I unsolo, so that's everything that was in Reason was being triggered with Machine. I'm not doing anything in Reason. All I'm doing is picking sounds and routing them through MIDI. Uh, you can see there's 16 channels here, but you can actually, you know, if you got real crazy, you know, you could do 16 times 4. That's 64. Or is that Yeah, that's 64. You could run up to 64 MIDI tracks, which is, you know, absolutely insane. If you, if you got that, if you're using that much stuff virtually between, you know, in your computer between programs, by all means, go for it. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you use Reason as a sound module to uh, in machine. So you can use all of your all of your uh, rack extensions, your combinator patches, uh, your Thor, your subtractor, all of that stuff. Bam, it's right there. So, um, like I always do at the end of every video, I'll let you hear the track that I was using, that I was making with all of those sounds. Uh, once again, this is James Jackson of James Jackson Productions with another Machine Masters tutorial. Ladies and gentlemen, the website is live. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you go to www.machinemasters.com. Uh, sign up for a free account. Uh, make sure you subscribe. You can get involved with those sample pack Saturdays. A uh, lot of great things coming from Machine Masters, including uh, quarterly beat tapes, which is something I'm really excited for. Uh, looking forward to hearing a lot of your tracks that you've uh, made using Machine. Once again, James Jackson, I am signing off, and this is the track I was making.